Moving on now to the next bout of the show. So ladies and gentlemen, please firstly welcome into the blue corner, representing Abra Tai, Frankie Brimacchio. So Frankie Brimacom then, from the Airborough Thai Boxing, you may have got that right, so Carl will put me straight, 21 years of age. He wants to be the best. He said he got into martial arts and he got sent there by school. So we'll see what he performs like. Frankie Brimacom! Boxing out of the red corner and representing Silver Spirit Gym, AJ Durrani! AJ, from the Silver Spirit Gym, trained by Sean Silver. And he had um, real, real study of the game, Gavin. Spoke to him a few times. Big, big fan of the big stars, George Petrosian, Super Bond, of course, Liam, etc. And um, he's had a bit of time out. Let's see how good he's meant to be really, really good in the gym, we'll see. A real student of the game. Jaden, big, big, big studio of the game. Let's see. But he looks like he's going to be a rough out this kid. Frankie. 3-3 three, three minute rounds of A-class Muay Thai, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get into the blood and snot and thunder now, aren't we? Yes. i tell you what, the atmosphere has gone up a notch here It has, Gav. Has it? it has indeed. Ebro Muay Thai. Frankie Brimacombe versus Ali. Sorry, AJ. Girani. Let's see. Round one. Round one, then. Straight into it. Good, Good shot. shot. Good balance. Nice kick from Frankie. Ooh. Good balance. Good balance again. I don't think he made the right choice there, but still good balance. It's a good start from both men. Yeah. Nice. That was good from Durrani. Slip, lean back, and back the left up. Frankie's his chin's too high in the air, stood up. Yeah, his hands are up, but his head's behind yeah, it, you know? Yeah, he's a bit, a bit, a bit of a chin on the stick there, isn't he, a little bit? Just when he's getting pushed back, he's, he, he rises up.
Looking for them left kicks, yeah. Brimkin's just half a step out every single time. Yeah. It's heavy that was. Some joking going on with AJ. Good shot. Strong mix session though of Frankie. Oof, just missed. Too far out that, that was. Last 30 seconds, sorry, he got carried away watching this. He did, didn't he, you do sometimes, don't oh, you, yeah. Gavin? Tip for tap, kick for kick, punch for punch. <laughs> Last 15 seconds or so. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, there's more to AJ here. If he lets himself go a little bit more. Yeah, you just won't be looking to him in this next round now, just stepping in, being a bit more aggressive with his hands because the holes are there in Brimkin's guard. You can see with his, with his head held high, you're catching. Here's yeah, yeah, some of the action then, Gabby. Yeah, uh, just nice double jab, kick through the middle there. Again, it's a bit of a feeling out round more than anything. Both, both fighters really sort of, you know, harmlessly getting in on each other without, without causing any damage. Both fighters seem to be half a step out um, from what they wanted to be doing. You know, landing with the feet, not the shins, and especially more with the hands as well. You see one of the guys stepping with a good, good strong left hook, probably AJ. Second half, round two. Round two then, our, our, our um, referee Ricky Sewell the Hitman Fight League member. Brings the two protagonists ready to take battle. Commence. That's better already from, from yeah. Durrani. He's stepping in, you see they're a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Bruce has got to give him something to think about, got to keep him, to keep him off. Just step in with that counter kick here. He can afford to, can't, because there's no power in that left kick that Frank yeah. is throwing. It's, it, it's like we've seen before, though, as well, Lovin. It was like, you know, it, take, it takes 35, 45 seconds of, of work from one fighter just to establish the, the, the pace and establish their rhythm. And AJ started this round like that and then just drifted off again, and now he's going to have to get it back again. He can get control of this fight. He's just got to, you've got to keep working. Yeah. Scoring well. Yeah. Scoring well all the way through. It's filling it, Frankie, though. Scoring with the body kicks there. Just edging out of range. Nice scoring. Trying to get that left kick in. But he's missing the left hook that he landed in the yeah. first round, AJ. Freddie's still in it, though. Frankie, I should say, sorry. Good work from him, coming forward. Needs to counter back, Frankie. Sometimes a little bit possession. Nice left kick was attempted, good combinations from him. AJ just has that edge in speed, doesn't he, Gavin? A little yeah, bit of je ne sais quoi. Yeah, yeah, he also, I don't, I don't think Frankie's carrying much power, so I don't, no. I, I don't think he's giving AJ anything really to worry about. I mean, AJ's felt his power and, and his, you know, not concerned, not too concerned. But then again, he doesn't really land on Frankie, really, of any, of any note. Yeah. Like how AJ just walked into the clinch and showing confidence. Good body shot there from Frankie.
Nice job. Last 30 seconds or so, really. And there you go. Sorry, my time is rubbish. <laughs> So as you had an argument there with backstage, my timing was right. <laughs> Listen, it happens. It was live TV. Who cares? Anyway, round number three coming up then is Sean Silver sweating his Mancunian boat off. Now lives uh, down south in Basildon in Essex. And he's got a gym down there and he's done very well. Sean, I'm proud of him. I don't think this fight's quite caught fire yet, really. I'm hoping it will catch fire in this next round. Uh, yeah, I think AJ's just edging it. Yeah, but, he's, um, yeah he's comfortable. Frankie needs to like really yeah. Land some, land some shots in it. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's trying his best. And I think Frankie's got to make him uncomfortable in this in this last round now. Second round, round three. Let's see then. Messy that headlocks, it's like you know, yeah. can't be doing that. <laughs> nice left kick scoring, body shot there back from Frankie. Engage him out, I felt that one, Gabby. Mm. Frankie looking up at the clock to see how long he's got. Good block there from AJ coming in with his combinations again. Good fight this well match. No one's going to elbow crazy Gav, which you can see sometimes, can't you? Yeah, you see when one starts, yeah. the other starts straight away, so... I don't think he's been that type of fight though, has it really? It's been quite a little bit in and out and a little bit up and down. Final minute then of this third and final round. Frankie's done better here, Gavin, kicking back and standing, staying in range. Yeah, he's done well this round. Good fight, this. Both of them are scoring really, really well. Close fight, this one. Good timing with the push kick there. Team Presley's known. From AJ. Need to start scoring now. Ooh. Good timing. Good performance by both. Close to fight, we realised that one actually. I think uh, both of them in that last round both up really well. Good strong pace through the fight. A good combination from both fighters. The front get a good set, good last round. I 
has a nice little sweep. Ladies and gentlemen, after three awesome rounds of Muay Thai action, your ringside judges have reached the unanimous decision. So let's hear it for your winner. In the red corner, AJ Durrani. And let's hear it from winner of Frankie Prima Carroll. AJ, you've been out of the ring quite a while, yeah? Give me that bullshit. Let me take that off. Show me out. You've been out of the ring a while, but you look like you was at home in there. How do you feel? I feel absolutely brilliant, man. I can't explain it in words. There's so many times I've died in this league, but I stopped thinking God and I kept going. Indeed. You've shown some real, as, as the rounds went on, your timing got better. You obviously listened to the wonderful Sean Silver in the Silver Spirit Boy Ties you. So how do you feel? Let me just ask you, what's it like to be fighting on the Hitman Fight League? How do you feel? Because this is a big show and it's the return of you and we want to see you again. How do you feel fighting on a show like this? I feel absolutely brilliant. This is definitely by far the best show that I've been on. Everything from A to Z I've been looked after. And I just, I just feel amazing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for everyone, I'm grateful for everything. Thank you to my coach for believing in me. And I could have stopped. I could have stopped. Thank you, Sean. Well, you can see the outpour of emotion. Ladies and gentlemen, come on now. A massive round of applause, please, for your winner, AJ! I don't care.